Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Shri Nidhi Bhatt, your neighborhood pediatric dentist, and welcome to my health channel, Man Dent Health. Today, we're going to talk about a silent epidemic which is running parallel to our pandemic situation, which is called as mucormycosis or the black fungus. And a few points on the myth and truth about the vaccination. My beloved nation, India, is currently combating the second wave of the Chinese virus, COVID-19. Our medical infrastructure is fighting with the virus tooth and nail. But we, the medical fraternity, are not only concerned about the Wuhan virus, but also other complications that are being reported by the patients. The issue of post-COVID sepsis is being seen as a major challenge these days. It's emerged as a major challenge and we have seen quite a few cases on our own and in my fraternity group of cases being reported about an aggressive, hard to treat fungal epidemic called the black fungus. Among a lot of recovering and recovered COVID affected patients we are about to see, we have seen such cases. These rare fungal infections disproportionately affected the Indian patients with prevalence of infection estimated to be about 17 times higher in India than in the rest of the world. This is according to a study conducted by Dr. Paul Griffin in the University of Queensland. In his study, he stated that the Wuhan virus has just tipped the balance in the favor of the fungus. With the fungi that is present already in the background, it is inevitable in a lot of ways we will see more cases of black fungus reported in India. Now that being said, let's now see what exactly is the black fungi. Black fungus, also known as mucormycosis, is a general term for a group of uncommon infections caused by a fungus. These fungi are regularly found in the soil and are usually acquired by the human body when the sp spores of these fungi of these molds are inhaled either through the cuts or uh, cuts of the skin or basically inhalation. It usually affects individuals who have a bad oral or facial hygiene with compromised immune system with lifestyle diseases such as diabetes mellitus or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome which is also called popularly known as AIDS or HIV or patients who have immune compromise due to uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy or patients who are on prolonged hospitalization or under ventilator therapy for the COVID issue. It affects in these individuals in a very very aggressive pattern which might be ending up into a life threatening fashion. Why are steroids prescribed in COVID-19 patients? It's basically to prevent the issue of cytokine storms. Cytokine storms are, is found to be one of the major causes of death in COVID-19 patients. Well, cytokine is a molecule which is released by our immune system to prevent infections. As we all know, COVID-19 is a viral infection and it's an established fact. And once we have a viral infection of the body, one of the body's immune response to such an infection, especially like COVID-19, is release of cytokines. When the cytokines are released in excess to tackle off an overwhelming infection, now in these patients, to prevent the cytokine storm, steroids are given. Steroids usually, the method of action of steroid is usually the dampen the release of cytokines from the body, indirectly reducing the body's immune response, thus reducing the body's immunity. When a patient in such a state of decreased immunity is given a challenge by a simple fungus which is present all around, the body gives up and thus patients get infected with mucormycosis. Thus the abuse of steroid. Listen to me very carefully here. I'm talking about abuse of steroid, not titrated use of it. Acts as fuel to the fire. So what are the signs and symptoms that we are supposed to look for in case of black fungus? It majorly affects your nasal and paranasal areas, eyes and the dentofacial areas to begin with. Later it spreads to your brain and lungs where it becomes life threatening. In nasal you can see sinusitis, nasal congestion, stuffy nose and bleeding from the nose. In dentofacial areas you see swelling, pain and numbness around the facial area partial paralysis around the cheek, black or bluish patches around your cheek, loosening of the teeth, prominent aching or pain in the teeth and upper jaw bones, pus in the gums or gingiva and bone, 
यूजली कॉजिंग नेक्रोसिस और डी के ऑफ द पैलेटल एरिया इन द आइस स्वेलिंग एंड पेन ऑफ द आइस ड्रूपिंग ऑफ द आइस बेसिकली फॉलोइंग ऑफ द आइस एंड ब्लरिंग और लॉस ऑफ विजन सो हाउ डू यू डायग्नोज फ्रॉम यूकोमाइकोसिस it's it's quite simple you put the sputum under histopathological examination with uh, potassium staining and ct chest for lungs and head for sinuses once the diagnosis is confirmed for mucomycosis the treatment should be prompt to start with antifungal iv medication intravenous medications of amphotericin b is been given Now these days what we are seeing is because of this widespread infection of the fungus amphotericin B is not easily available but an alternative which is been also approved by the FDA like isavuconazole or posaconazole is also been prescribed second right titration and administration of steroids according to the patient's needs under your physician's guidance taking care of your sugar or diabetic levels by administration of insulin under your endocrinologist supervision fourth is hyperbaric oxygen therapy fifth but very important one keep your oral hygiene at absolute brim by adding up a mouthwash of hydrogen peroxide in your regular hygiene about 3 times a day for 15 days under your dentist supervision of course sixth is multivitamin therapy seventh use of distilled water in the humidifier during oxygen therapy of covid care eighth last but not the least surgical debridement to stop the spread by a maxillofacial surgeon as we just saw it's an approach by a team of doctors and not just an individual doctor it becomes your moral responsibility to tie up with your internal medicine doctor or your chest physician with your dental surgeon your ent surgeon your ophthalmologist your neurosurgeon and your endocrinologist if all these people work together as a team they can do good for the patient There are few preventive measures which you can take at home like personal hygiene by taking a bath immediately after you come from outside take your clothes off and put them into the washing machine immediately and take a bath and gargling with salt water or hydrogen peroxide if it's readily available second wearing a face mask and face shield to stop the mold invasion apart from the virus it also prevents the mold invasion also to cover the exposed area of the body with clothes so that if at all any cuts or wounds are there the mold shouldn't enter through it the best way is vaccination now that we are talking about vaccination let me give you a few points about the myth and the truth about it too it's been said that there are a lot of side effects associated with vaccination there is a lot of complaints lot of scare whether to take a vaccination or not lot of politics is been played whether to take it or not take it but that being said i have found in my practice i have seen patients recover very very well from covid-19 if they are well vaccinated though after vaccination some minor side effects are seen We have seen that some of our patients complaining that a previous asymptomatic dental infection basically uh, which was not causing any pain or discomfort suddenly caused them pain post the vaccination this is one of the minor side effects that i have seen but i do i tell my patients not to panic about it i reassure them that it will be fine in a day or two and there are some minor side effects of the vaccine which i would say it would be there in any other vaccines also few of them wherein most of my patients have complained about uh, a mild low grade fever sinusitis type headache myalgia as in pain in all your joints and muscles and all fatigue pain at the site of vaccination and pain if you had any dental infection which was earlier and now suddenly that area is paining that is, that would reduce in a day of two you all you have to do is symptomatically treat them Last but not the least as the proverb goes an early start is half a battle won with early diagnosis and prompt treatment we can prevent this disease altogether thank you